Before we gear up for Independence Day, here's your daily afternoon news brief from WBON TV for Wednesday. In a report filed by the Richmond Police Department, a woman allegedly stole several ribeye steaks from Myron Richmond by concealing them in a purse that had also allegedly been stolen from the store. The citation states that Bandy Gilbert was seen by Meyer Loss Prevention slipping multiple steaks into her purse and made no attempt to pay for them. The suspect reportedly fled towards Meyer Gas Station, where she then dropped the purse and was detained by Richmond Police. According to the report, Gilbert claimed she did nothing wrong and advised them that her son was visiting for the holiday and she had nothing to cook. Loss prevention discovered the purse containing the steaks was also stolen, which totaled $98.90 in merchandise. Gilbert was arrested and lodged in the Madison County Detention Center. A lightning strike killed two cows near Fisher Ford Road in northern Garrett County Tuesday, according to the National Weather Service. The strike occurred around 3 p.m. Luckily, there were no other reports of injuries or damage done to the farm. And WBON TV went down to the RFD training grounds to watch a fireworks safety demonstration by the Richmond Fire Department. Public Information Officer Corey Lewis gave us all the details about some popular fireworks and how to safely use them. Watch the video on WBON TV up now for a PSA from these local firefighters and learn how you can have a safe Independence Day. We also got to see how dangerous Roman candles are and saw singe marks on clothing that demonstrates how these popular fireworks burn hotter than anyone would imagine. Firefighters also use their state-of-the-art temperature gauges to show how hot sparklers get, which may surprise those who are so quick to hand these to young children. Also keep in mind local ordinances that state if you are in city limits across Madison County, you cannot shoot off fireworks after 9 p.m. except tonight, July 3rd, and tomorrow, where you can until midnight. And police last night found the body of a man in the cab of a semi parked on exit 95 at the Shell gas station in Madison County. Police were originally called because the amount of time the truck remained parked as it had been seen on security footage at the same location since Monday. The identity of the deceased has not yet been released and KSP detectives are currently investigating further. The coroner was also on the scene in Madison County for a fatal crash that occurred Tuesday on Irvin Road. The deceased was identified as 56-year-old Donna Ray Markham of Irvin. The coroner reports that her husband was transported to UK Hospital and he also says that his condition is improving at this time. It is not yet known if Markham was wearing a seatbelt and she did die from impact. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.